All right, we are on. Michael, you have any words of wisdom to start with? Yeah, be good this time. All right, I'll try. I'll try, but it's hard doing it in an hour here. Okay, so Valentine's Day is coming up. They've already told you that we were going to do a Valentine's cake, so I thought I better do a Valentine's cake. So I came up with this yesterday because that's how I operate. Um, Michael said, hey, can you give me a picture of something? You know, weeks ago I said, are you kidding me? I don't even know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> so I want to do something a little different. Okay, still going to do a heart shape. And then I thought, what's different? What hasn't been done? Oh, how about a balloon? Okay, Valentine's Day balloon. That sounds good. But I don't want to do a flat balloon. So let's have the balloon actually stand up. So this over here is what we're going to do. Okay, so the bear obviously isn't um, out of cake, but we could do it out of cake if we had more time. Um, so the balloon here, this is going to be cake. So we have just a tiny bit of styrofoam like here, and then the rest of it is actually cake stacked up. So I thought that was kind of cool, a little bit different. So we are going to get started. Okay, so you need a wood base, first of all. Should be about a half inch thick, could be slightly less. Uh, you also need a flange from the plumbing department of a hardware store. Uh, this is a half inch flange here. And then I have this little adapter here. And it's a half inch adapter, so it screws right into the flange. So first you just put some screws in here in the middle of the board or wherever you want it. This is called a male adapter, half inch. So you just screw that in, real easy to do. And then this is half inch PVC pipe. Um, PVC pipe, your water goes through PVC pipe, so it's um, pretty much food safe. You just want to wash it. Um, this is the styrofoam piece that I s talked about Woo! earlier. Let me just kind of put that off to the side. Um, before we go into the pipe and how to bend it and everything, let's just talk about how to determine what size cake you want to do. What I did is I took a heart-shaped cake pan that I had. It was a 10-inch pan, but it had a little lip on it. So when I flipped the pan upside down, this heart and traced around it, the heart ended up being, um, it's right about 11 inches. So if you don't have a heart-shaped pan at home, what you can do is just go on the internet and just um, get an image of a heart, print it out on paper, and then use that as your template, okay? So if I were to just bake out of that cake pan, you know, your cakes would be like this, flat like this, like two layers like this. And if I stand that up, what's going to happen? It's not going to stay there. It's going to like fall down, right? So what I actually have to do is bake sheet cakes, okay? And then you cut them into rectangles, which you'll see in a little bit, and actually stack them up. So we, we're going to have the styrofoam, which is this part right here. And then we're going to have cake. And then we're going to have a piece of foam core, cake, and then foam core, and then cake on the top. All right, now if the cake is much bigger than this or wider, I would go with something even firmer than um, foam, foam core. This will hold up a cake like this, but if it was much bigger, I would actually go to like a masonite type board, which is a thin wood board, and actually cut those.